Hello everyone, my name is Tahina and today I have exciting news to tell you. Erin Conjuring sent me a box of some new stuff that is launching soon and for those monthly planners out there, you're going to want to stick around. The first thing I want to do is thank Tori and Sam for sending me this box of goodies that I need to show you. So the monthly planner launch is June 6th. So I'm going to have a link down in the description. So please come back to that because every every quit that I get really, really helps. I don't have a normal following, so I'm lucky for every quick I get. So I would really appreciate it if you did come back and use my link. Please like and subscribe so EC will know that you like these videos and you want to see more launch videos from me and then they'll send me more packages so you can see them because not a lot of people do the monthly planner for some reason everybody likes the planner launch and the academic launch and all that stuff EC needs to know that people like the monthly planners too okay so the first thing is the planner that's basically what everybody wants to see so this is the new yeah 23-24 monthly planner and I believe, I'm not too sure, so don't quote me on this, but I believe that this is the first time they're actually coming out with an 8.5 by 11 planner. I could be wrong about that, but last year I believe I got the launch too, and it was a 7 by 9 so maybe they just didn't send me the bigger one. I'm not too sure. But this is the 8.5 by 11 and I do have last year's. This is the 7 by 9 so, oops, it's upside down. <laughs> so, um, to compare how big they are, I will show you the differences in these because there are a few differences in last year's than this year's. And I'm going to show you that right now. But, after that, come back and I will show you the bigger items that I can't really show you up close so stay tuned okay so there's certain stuff i wanted to show you like this so this is the one that ec sent me which is the eight and a half by 11 and i wanted to show you this is one that i got last year this is the seven by nine that way you could see the differences and there are differences inside so i will compare them and this is a big one. I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on it, I'm pretty sure they didn't have this size last year. But this one is the Inspired one. But for some reason, I looked on the website, I'll show a picture here, where it says that you can get in the 7x9, 85 by 11 and it's got three... The three designs but it says last year's designs which I think that's a misprint the only thing about this is where's I have the inspired planner and up here it has the little swirls I don't know why they didn't put the little swirls up here like they did the regular planner but this is the same basically you know, like this. The swirls are like this in the regular planners. I don't know why they didn't do it in this one. But sometimes affiliates will get items that are messed up. They actually see what's wrong and fix it before launch, which is good. So you get the 12 boxes like you do in the regular planners. And this is how it looked last year. And then... We have the cover. I love the covers. And then we have the monthly. So you can tell it's super big. This is a big, big one. It might be a little too big. Well, maybe not because I'm going to use this. You can use the monthly planner for a lot of stuff. I'm going to use it as a social media planner. So having the big planner is probably a lot better because, you know, you got YouTube, you got Instagram, TikTok. I'm not really into TikTok, but I want to get into it. So this will definitely be enough room. 
Now, oops, sorry for the hairs. I have cats, so. Now, the big, big difference is this was last year after the month. You got a line page, and then you got the regular dashboard that they've had for the last couple years. This has changed in the monthly. The monthly dashboard looks like this. So it's got goals, important dates, important projects, and tracking. I really like this dashboard. I think they should make this dashboard for the regular planners. And then you have the lines. Okay, so you don't get an extra line page like you did last year. But in the monthlies, if you have used the monthlies before, after the dashboard page, you get one, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pages that you can do for projects or to do lists, anything like that. It depends on how you use in the planner. This year, I believe they added more pages. So one, and they count like one side as one. So if it says 40 pages, it's not 40 pages. It's 20 pages on both sides, if that makes any sense. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Okay, you get a half a page, 10 pages now. So I guess that page that you were supposed to get after the dashboard, you actually get it. So, okay, and then here's August. Very beautiful, I like this. I wouldn't use stickers, well, I will use stickers in here, but I won't use like sticker kits. So I don't mind, you know, it going in the coil and all that because I'm not going to use that for that. There's November and December, then January, and I believe you can change the months. It's for 12 months. I believe you can do January to December or July to June, I believe. I'll have to look on that page again. See like how there's a line right here? That will probably get fixed before lunch. Here's March, April, and May. So my, that's weird, hold on. Oh, okay, here's June. I didn't see June at first, sorry. Okay, in June. Okay, so then, one, okay, two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. And then after that, you get the observances, which is fine. I don't look at them. And then you get a year at a glance for the next year, which I like because sometimes, like with my heart doctor, he wants to see me once a year. So then I can put it in here for 2025. So, and then we get two sheets of stickers. And then we get the cover. We do not get a petite planner with the monthly. Another thing that's different this year is you can add 40 pages to this if you wanted to for... I don't know exactly how much it is. I have to look it up to see how much to add the form. It's probably like five bucks, something like that. And it would be in the back here. I thought they gave it to me, but they didn't. They just gave me a regular one, which is fine because I don't need, I don't think I need the 40 pages. 10 pages each month is good enough for me. So, and it's got the new dashboards. I never use these. I just use them as covers. I I have never used that. 
which is fun. But yeah, and this is in rose gold. It's pretty. I like that. I want to show you some things that they sent me with the monthly. First up is a Project Sticky Notes, and it is by Post-it. Some of their sticky notes are by Post-it, and some are not. So it just depends. Hopefully, I'm trying not to make a glare. So it says Project up here. It says Status, Important Dates, and Next Steps. Now, I may or may not use this. I'm not too sure yet. I might use this for school, because you could use... Like for English, if there's a paper due, like a 10 page paper at the end of the semester, you could definitely use this. So you could use this if you're a teacher, if you're a student, and want to use this and you got a project for it. So that's good. And then, oh, I also wanted to show you that the vegan leather snap in covers are new this year. And they sent me one. They sent me the purple. I believe there's five different colors that you can choose from. But they sent me the purple one, which is nice. And it fits good. Let's try it out. I'm just going to put it over it that way. Okay, yeah, snaps in very nicely. Perfect. That's nice. I like that. So they do have those in the eight by um, eight by seven. They do have these in the eight and a half by eleven that you could use, which is perfect. And then next up are these. I yeah, I'm pretty sure they got rid of the circle ones. But I'm glad they're bringing these in. So, they're squares. I don't know if you'll like that. But they're transparent. I like that. Because I use it on the year at a glance. I use these. For that. In case, you know, appointments or anything like that. And then we have, like, little pastel ones. And then, I love these. The foiled ones. These are nice. So I'm definitely going to use these. And then these have already been in the shop for a minute. But I don't have these. I did not buy these because there are certain type of pens that I like. And because I'm a lefty and because of how I write, certain pens do not work well with me. They are. Always, a lot of them, like 90% of the pins that I've tried, skip on me. Okay, let's see. So, I'm very picky when it comes to my pins. Okay. Like, I like these. I don't know if they're still available on the website, but these are good. These don't skip on me at all. look like I don't know if because some of this doesn't come off you know I don't know if I just didn't do it long enough but that seems like a lot of work just to get a different color I thought these were gonna like see how the how it looks I thought I was gonna do that you know I thought I was gonna start purple and then go to the next color and then go back to purple that's what I thought was going to happen but I don't know uh, let me know in the comments I think that's just too much work to deal with but I'll play around with these uh, they write well 
So there's that. I might just use them as the regular colors they have. There's a couple of things that are too big to show here, so I'm going to show them. Okay, so now that you're back and you've seen the planner and some of the items that they actually sent me, I want to show you the bigger items that they sent me. The first one is a desk pad, I guess you could call it, that you could put on your desk, and it's for projects. So it says, my projects, you probably won't be able to see it, so I'm just going to tell you what it says. It says project, so you have three projects, status, important dates, next steps, what I'm focusing on. And then on the side you have a to-do list, and then you have like a little note section. And I believe, usually the desk pads are about 25 to 50 sheets. I'm not entirely sure, but this is great for anything. Like if you're a teacher or a student or just you have three kids, this will be perfect because if they have like projects for school or they got a soccer game and you volunteer and stuff, this would be really good for you. And the last item that they sent me is 2324 wall calendar. I love these. At first I didn't get these because I was like, why do I need that? You know, but then a couple years ago I started getting it. I love these. I get these every year and I'm glad they sent this to me because I was definitely going to get one of these. But I have one in my office to show like shop stuff or affiliate stuff or when I'm in school, the school stuff. That way I don't forget anything. And I also got an extra one after I bought one from another box last year and I gave it to my roommate. And my roommate uses it in the living room just in case uh, we have certain stuff going on or whatever that everybody can see all the plans. This is mine personally because I didn't want to show all the glare so I can actually show you what they look like. And it's metallic. If you don't like metallic, you might not like this, but they're all metallic and they're different colors. They don't go by the normal EC monthly colors, which is fine for me. I don't, I don't mind it. So I just basically go by what the metallic is for the month and then you know, I go from there. I put some washi on here and I use stickers. There are stickers behind here, but I always pull them off because I'm tired of going back in the back of the planner. So these are what the stickers look like. As you can see, I have used some of these stickers and they give you the little holidays too. They started that, I believe they started giving in the holidays last year or the year before. The only thing, the only gripe I have about these stickers, if, if you notice, not every sticker is in every color. You know, you have to-dos, bill-dos, but what if your monthly metallic color is gold or purple or something? The blue's not going to go with it. That's the only gripe I have about these stickers. You get so many stickers from EC if you get the planners and stuff like that. You're going to have tons and tons of stickers from EC. So you can always use any of those. I really like that. That's one of my favorite items that I get from EC. So make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.